animals unfairly treated by nature. When evenly matched ungulates fight, things can go sideways in a hurry. Sometimes antlers get intertwined and hopelessly locked in place. When this happens, it often spells the demise of one or both of the animals involved. In other instances, though, there are survivors. A Maine hunter got a two-for-one earlier this season when he bagged a mature nine-point buck that was locked up with a dead ten-pointer. It wasn't immediately clear to Adam Blanchett just how the ten-pointer met its demise, but with a tag in his pocket, he decided to harvest the survivor, a valid choice given the animal's unfortunate predicament. I looked down at him and said, I'm sorry, and I said it right out loud, and I shot him. Blanchett later told the Bangor Daily News. It was bittersweet. It's almost emotional. You feel bad. This is the astonishing moment when three fishermen discover they caught more than they expected after landing a northern pike while on a New Year Day expedition. The trio, Roger, Andy, and Jeremiah, had just landed the large fish from the Mississippi in La Crosse, Wisconsin, and decided to fillet it. Upon slicing the pike's flesh, one of the men noticed it started to move. One of the friends believed the fish had just eaten a turtle, so they were astonished to find the smaller perch slide out through the gap. Amazingly, despite having been eaten by the pike, the perch was still alive and began flapping on the table. The pike, which had just devoured the perch in its entirety, must have still been hungry after it grabs the line. I think it's a frisbee. Your guess is as good as mine. I have no clue. The fisherman cutting it open seems to think it's a turtle. Whatever it is almost seems to be moving as it's being cut out. All at once, a bluegill slides out of the pike's gut. Oh, look at the size of this bluegill. We were wrong. That's impressive that the large fish came out. Then it gets crazier. The fish comes back to life, flopping around, as every fisherman on the boat says the same thing at the same time. It doesn't look too bad here, but here is how it looked after I cut the horn. There was already an open sore on the skin, which is the perfect place for infection and fly strike to start. This ram was never registered and destined for butcher because of his horns and his personality. In fact, I'd counted on using his very cool striped horns for dozens of fabulous buttons. The sad story is that his horns were lost at the butcher facility and no one seems to know what happened to them. Discouraging. This is the kind of saw that you use to cut horns. It's a wire piece with two handles. I can't find mine, so this belongs to a friend. Thanks, Jackie. Here's a close-up after cutting the horn. It's hard to tell, but the horn has already gone into the flesh, making an open wound. Cormorant disturb the fishermen. As they come to snatch the fish, they catch from them. So the fishermen in some countries shoot them. If you put a chicken on the ground in this position and draw a straight line in front of its eyes, it will remain fixed in its place and not move because it remains focused with the line. Several experiments have proven that chickens do not move in this condition. This experiment is called hypnosis and it puts the chicken into anesthesia like what you see now. You can imagine the suffering that this horse went through who got stuck in the fence and found no one to help him until he died in this state. He must have suffered a lot before his death. The animal remained in that state until its corpse decomposed. Nature has been very hard on him. This is what happens to most animals that are caught in a trap and do not find anyone to help them.